What's going on my G's? Belly McCauley here and today I'm going to be doing a quick beat breakdown for this Amar Piano beat I just made. Now this is a modern style Amar Piano sound that you hear everywhere nowadays and I really enjoy making this kind of Amar Piano beat. It's very dark, it's kind of aggressive. Let me show you what it sounds like. <laughs> So whatever I'm doing on my piano, right, I like to start with the drums because you want to have a very nice groove going first. The version that I'm using here is this very soft kick, right? Yeah. You can already get the idea of what the groove is going to be like, right? You just... <laughs> and then I added these percussions here. Right. You can already feel the groove, right? And there's also something that I did here that I think you might want to try. I added a delay. It's just simple fruity delay to the conga to give you that extra bounce. So listen. Yeah, it's actually quite mild. It's actually a trick that a lot of these on my piano guys use a lot. And it's very nice. See? <laughs> it's actually quite bad. And to finish up my drums, I added this uh, snare and a bit of hi hat. Let me give you a little secret about my piano drums. Yeah, see that? <laughs> that hi hat and that thing that gives instant groove to your drums in my piano because it just makes you want to move your head, right? See? Uh. That's it. So I did one more percussion sound here. To begin on a very high note, like. Uh, uh, uh. It will come again. Right. And then obviously you need your shakers, right? Uh. Mark. Another thing that I like with modern on my piano sound is they start with like some very nice hard hitting bass from the get go. You already feel like, yeah, let's dance. That's actually what I started with. Yeah. Another thing again with modern on my piano beat is you need to have very nice atmospheric parts, right? Like that's already a beat. Hey. So I got the part from Analog Lab, by the way. This is like my new go-to VST for sounds. And I did another... Right. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you know the normal my piano stabs? That's also from Analog Lab as well. Modern than my piano sound. You need to have some sort of melody line in the background, just adding a little bit of extra ginger. that part again if you notice when you listen to all this beat you hear that the parts keep coming in every maybe like every four four bar just to keep changing the picture and giving it more ginger as you go something like this See, that, that just elevates the vibe again obviously you need the best riser in my piano right now <laughs> and then i added this fx clap in the beginning Obviously, this is just for the first part. This is like the intro into the craziness that's going to come later. Now for the log drum section, right? Before I added the log drum, I added this sound that I stole from one of my piano beats that I mixed and mastered a long time ago. I renamed it Ghost Cave. Man. And then I add another sound. I also named it Ghost Loop. <laughs> Man. Mm. Uh. Yeah, man, I love my piano, man. And before I added the log drums, I added another part just to differentiate the log drum section a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just... Hey, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
mad. And then there's this sound that I really like from Fruity DX10. Very, very, very dope for Ama Piano as well. This one. Hold on. Where is it? Yeah, this guy. Like. Man, I love the sound. And I just added a little bit of reverb to it to just make it sound a little bit fuller. <laughs> Wow, that's actually very, very nice. That sound gives this beat extra groove. Do you get And then I add my log drums. One thing that you need to have in mind when you're making log drums for modern and my piano is movement. It has to move. The log drum has to feel like um, oh, there's some war about to happen. Do you understand? Like, see. <laughs> All right, let me play that with the beat and hear what it sounds like. Man. And then you should layer your log drum with a sub bass so it can be very thick, like this. Right. But because this is just strictly dance, right? So it has to progress and it has to transition from one bad side to a badder side to a badder side, if you ask me. So that's what I've done here. I've added down that lock drum. This time around, I adjusted the modulation and amplitude to get this sound. Like, don't be afraid to play around. All those crazy, weird sounds you're hearing on my piano, this is how to do it, you know? Right. And when you find something that you like, or when you create a log drum sound that you like, you can save it. I didn't save this one, but I have other ones that I've saved. There's one I saved that called Anger Logs. It's very stupid. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that for that. And then if we play that with the rest of the beat, this is what we have. <laughs> There's one other thing I added, it's another part again. Um, you have to add a lot of parts because there's not so much going on exactly, it's just vibes and heavy lock drums. But all these parts that you add on that will just keep changing the sound a little bit and just make it sound dope. This is also a sound from Analog Lab, sick VST. For the arrangement, I'm not doing too much actually. It's just going from this side. <laughs> And it goes into the first log drum session. Oh, I forgot to mention, I added the snare. This snare obviously is very important for modern our piano. Right, I mean, you hear that, you already feel like you want to just dance. Right. <laughs> Right, and then I just have this tiny short bridge. Does the shaker part and this other sound down here? You know, this is usually where you can do some crazy, crazy shit. Whatever. <laughs> you can't say. So that's it. This is just a quick beat breakdown. I hope you learned something from this and I hope you can pick one or two ideas from here for your next summer piano beat. All right. Yeah, let's listen to the whole beat and hear what it sounds like. Mm. Let me turn this up real quick. Yo.
So that's it, man. If you like this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more gems. I have a lot of amazing videos coming up, man. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, man. So that's going to be it for now. Uh, see you on the next one. Benny out.